Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Breivel alongside Richard Mulroney. Coach, a nice win over the weekend over UCF. Kind of an, an odd game. You jumped out 2 two nothing really quickly in the match. All of a sudden, they stormed back in, the, in that half. Yeah. So four of the five goals scored in that match were in the first half. Uh, fortunately, Jordan Clips able to get a goal in the 64th minute to, to prove to be the game winner. Absolutely. I was very pleased the way we started the game. We were on top of it. Got a couple goals, things were rolling well, and then I think we just sort of lost our way the last 10 minutes of the first half. And for whatever reason, UCF, their first goal was a nice buildup. That's one of the better goals that's been scored against us this year. And I think we sort of maybe were a little complacent leading up to that after the, our second goal. But give UCF credit, they battled back. And then uh, their second goal was obviously just an individual mistake. But a, a silly foul for us gave them a free kick into our box. And, uh, you know, things like that happened. So... You know, going into halftime, I think we were deflated a little bit, but our message at halftime was it's still 2-2. We're not down 2-0, whereas last year when we played them, we were down 2-0. But, you know, it's still 2-2. We played a good brand of soccer. If we just do that for another 45 minutes, we'll get rewarded. And thankfully we did with Jordan being able to pop one in in the second half. We talked early this year, uh, you won your first match, about getting that first win, getting that first goal, not letting thing, things compound. And that's probably a big difference between – Last year and this year, being down 2 nothing last year, a lot different because you're just struggling to, to even score a goal in a ball game and, and get some of those close wins. Uh, this year, you're able to kind of weather that storm, come out composed in the second half and, and get out the win. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, just knowing last year we, you know, we only scored 13 goals, whereas this year we already have that many more. We've had 11 or 12 different individual guys score, so it can come from different places. But we're just playing a, a good brand of soccer. We're giving ourselves opportunities. We're getting moving the ball around. You know, we're pat we're connecting on passes. Our defense, we've got a lot of shutouts this year. So we're just more of a complete team this year that gives us chances to win games. And it, it obviously helps to get that first goal. You know, to be digging yourself out of a hole at home 1-0, it's, it's tough. Teams will sit in. And obviously with the conference being, you know, points being so tight this year that you get that first goal, a lot of teams will just pack it in and try to, you know, at the very least, if you tie it up, they'll take their one point and move on. But, you know, getting a 2-0 lead, Letting them tie it up was disappointing, but again, it was only tied and knowing we had 45 minutes in the second half, but plus an overtime, the guys are up to the challenge and obviously I think we got a deserved win on Saturday. You played three matches, you've, you've gotten two results and getting that win was big. You needed those three points out of it. You're in the middle of the pack with a lot of teams right now. You're not like early in the conference season. Uh, a lot of people might not realize this. Men's soccer in the American, you only have seven conference matches. Uh, this, th this weekend, you're halfway through. Points really are at a premium. It's not a, a conference season where you can kind of work your way into it. You've got to get those results early. Absolutely. You know, in the past, we played another team just twice. It had always been UCF. So last year, we'd be going to UCF somewhere next in the, uh, in the next three or four weeks. Now that game's taken out. So you have this year, we have four home, three away. Next year, we'll have three home, four away. So, you know, points are of, of the essence for sure, you know. And now that only four teams advance and, you know, five through eight, you know, sit home and watch the semifinals, it's it's tight, you know, and you can see that in the games from the first minute to the 90th minute. There's a lot of competition going on. The games are fierce, and they always have been. But knowing that, you know, if you finish fifth place, you don't go to the conference tournament. Or, you know, if you drop two points at home and, and tie, that's probably going to come back and maybe drop you a couple spots. So it's very intense. You know, we've got some good teams in the league. Connecticut's obviously uh, set themselves at a high standard right now, not losing, but. You know, knowing that a loss here or a tie there, anybody can catch anybody. So it's just a matter of us taking care of business. And with that being said, our next game being at home versus SMU is that much more important. That's going to be huge for a lot of reasons because uh, SMU being a home match, sitting at 0-3 in the American, they're 4-5 and overall. And this is a program which I believe was in the third round last year. And they are used to being the perennial favorite, whether we were playing them in the American or in Conference USA. If you were playing another team that was 0-3, you would think, well, okay, we're playing a team that's struggling. SMU, this is totally foreign territory. You know they are starving to get that first win. It's a different beast, yeah. I can't explain why they're 0-3 right now in the conference. Obviously, we're just focusing our game with them, and we're expecting them to come out fighting and scrapping and tearing for any type of point that they can get. Mm -hmm. And they're good enough to. It's not that they're struggling. I mean, some of the games that they've dominated and just haven't gotten results. Having said that, we have them at home on Saturday. You know, a lot of the players that they recruit, we recruit, you know, I know their coaching staff, they're well coached. It's just one of the things where they just haven't gotten the results this year, and we obviously want to make sure that that doesn't start against us Saturday, but we also know that it's not going to be given to us. 
for a chance for you to be the only show in town on Saturday night, too. All the other teams are playing Friday or Sunday, regardless of sports. So a chance to get a big crowd out there because you guys are really playing well this season. It'd be great. This last weekend for Alumni Weekend, we had a good crowd out there. I think we're playing a brand of soccer that people would enjoy. So the weather should be beautiful, you know, and not knowing that I didn't know any other sports weren't playing that night. But, you know, if we're, we're the only uh, circus in town that, uh, that night, love to see the fans out there because I think uh, they'd be enjoyed of watching our student athletes. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Appreciate it. That's head coach Richard Mulroney. I'm Jeff Brightwell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.